An invasive pest native to Asia has found its way to the Finger Lakes. The spotted lanternfly is only an inch long and known for its eye-catching wingspan. Despite its appearance, it can cause devastating consequences for local crops. Mike Bunt has more on its discovery locally and what the state is doing about it. Grapevines and apple trees are just two of the 70-plus plant species the spotted lanternfly feeds on. One was found recently near Cuca Lake in Yates County, prompting worry from a local horticulturist. This is going to be a serious pest that we're going to have to reckon with in order to continue to be able to do what we do in agriculture. The State Department of Agriculture and Markets is surveying the area surrounding the lake. So far, no additional spotted lanternflies have been discovered. Despite that, inspectors continue knocking on doors. It's important for the public to be aware of these things so that when they see them, their eyes just don't pass over them and that they uh, can alert us to the presence of something suspicious. Wilson is warning people to be on the lookout for sap oozing from trees, honeydew buildup beneath plants, and one-inch long egg masses appearing like muddy mounds. Those are all signs of a possible infestation, something yet to be found, but a worry for those with knowledge of the invasive pest. They will cluster masses on tree trunks and suck the life out of that tree. And that's why the, the tree is going to be dying, is that it's lost its blood supply, as it were. The spotted lantern flies were first discovered in Pennsylvania four years ago before spreading to New Jersey, Delaware, and Virginia. Experts are hoping not to find more in the area with adults beginning to lay eggs in October. Ashley? Thanks, Mike. Anyone who spots a lantern fly is asked to send the DEC a photo in the location of where it was found. To find out how you can do that, just head to our website, rochesterfirst.com, and click on this story.